Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to a daily video. Now I know I haven't done one of these in a while and there's good reason to that. So I'm going to go into my monster box and I'll show you what's happening right now with my teams. Um, basically for golems B10 I'm using this uh, Nike, this Snowy, this Yukina and uh, this Thor for the defense down and courageous strike. Although he does slow my runs down, he does help at the end getting to the boss and um, 100 to owing him because he is a pain in the ass so in order to deal with that I'm going to replace Thor with this Grand Valkyrie that's a uh, Evo 2 and it's on her way to 6 stars you can see she's level 47 right now I'd run her in a dungeon right now but it's not too effective I would run her at level 50 but then um it's pretty much just going to be a sad run because her stats are just too subpar. Right now, the gems that she's on aren't for sure. She's actually borrowing some crit gems from my Moonflower when I do use her. I have been using Moonflower and Golems B10 too. I've been kind of like going in between um, sapping and nuking Golems B10. The runs are pretty much the same, 2 minutes and 20 seconds. The fastest time I probably ever got to with my own monsters and not using like someone else's monsters were a minute and about 49 seconds I believe so and that was running this comp that I'm about to reveal to you right now that I'm working on so I'm planning to use well the light Nike as my lead for the attack up and then I'm going to use Yukina for the sap and then I don't know if you guys remembered that I pulled a Sun Wukong, but I'm going to Evo 2 him and 6 star him as well. I do have enough stones for him, I just need to farm the high stones, but I'll farm it when I'm ready or when he when I'm going to 6 star him. Now he doesn't have a square slot, so how I'm gonna gem him is probably just a valor set. Um triple attack. You can see that his got predator on his first skill and courageous strike on his second and then on my on my grand valkyrie what i'm planning to do is well i want to run her in a siphon set eventually but i don't have any dragon exclusive gems that are triangles so that's the goal for this weekend is to try and get those um those gems with the appropriate stats now she does have a score slot so I could gem her maybe a crit rate as well if I wanted her to do more damage and then aim probably for a hundred percent crit or as high as much crit as I can ever get because she does have a pretty nice upset here she has 13% maybe if I roll like two 20% which will probably be never but um in the in the very end probably she's gonna go triple attack on a siphon set I also do have this snowy that I'm also trying to put on a siphon set but for now he's running I think attack and defense and attack like double attack and defense the reason why he's like bruiser is because um, in order to spread out the damage so with that defense slot he's able to take just a little bit of damage from the moonflowers and he won't get like 100 to old really quick which is probably the biggest concern with using gel frost and just one other tank or uh, light unit to tank damage unless you're running three light units like sometimes i run like lilith nike and jail frost and then maybe one other whatever unit defense down unit is probably the best um possible unit you could go to speed things up now i was in a predicament where i would try where i was gonna try and raise the valkyrie which is already on her way and then I was also going to raise, where is she, I can't find her, it's the light succubus, or not the light succubus, I already have the light succubus, I'm talking about the fire, the fire succubus, if I can just find her, she's right here, this is my perfect succubus almost perfect succubus she's missing a score slot but the reason why she's perfect to me is because i already had an evil two lilith before but she was all diamond slots and she was six stars but this is better than that because she also has the leader skill 
I probably should have used her because she's self-sustaining and then she also gives off a useful leader skill uh, to increase my allies HP and that would help with Snowy and Nike if I use them and then I could probably just have stuck in my my fire monkey now the reason why I didn't did that is because there's no way I'm gonna get her to Evo 3 anytime soon because I'm I lack the copies of her and then I had enough water stones and I had enough gleams to gleam my Grand Valkyrie. The Grand Valkyrie gave me uh, gems in order to farm, farm some more and get some gold back. So that was a little worth during that time. Now as for progression goes, the new capture event is out. So I'm taking advantage of that opportunity to catch the those monsters because the light one's really good and I will be reviewing them later on in another video. Now for my Miho, I'm not sure if I went over this before, but I do have enough Miho books to to max out her skills. Not the not the not the fire Miho though, but the reason why I'm on here is because I only need one more copy. Whoops. I only need one more copy to Evo to this one and then I can feed my, my water one. And then I can be on my way to raising my water Miho instead of using my water Yukina. And in most cases she is probably the best budget unit to use instead of using the purse. Now a fully maxed out water Miho will reach 80% sap on her second skill with increased damage. So that might actually be a little better wait can I even okay right here so the damage is increased and then her activation rate is also increased by 20 and not 10 so that is actually very useful she also has uh, she's balanced so I can pretty much gem her all attack I have the gems for it uh, probably put her on like a, maybe rune set for the extra damage and then I have the nine skill books that I can invest into her so that's what I'm looking forward to guys. There's not much going on in this daily video except farming. Um, I'm pretty much killing all of my gems right now and trying to convert it into gold. But I took a break from farming the golems because I wasn't getting anything really good. And the capture event just came out like two hours ago. And I squared some things away so I can have the rest of the night to do some farming. Now... I need to be working on my PvP stuff, but I'm not going to do my PvP in my dailies. I'm going to save it for like maybe a, the end of the week video of a compilation of stuff. And while I'm farming, I'm just going to like hit these maps and rank my, my Vulk up as much as I can. As I possibly can. And then hopefully catch the Gemini. I have not ran into a single Gemini. I know they have like legendary capture rates, but at the same time that I'm doing this, I'm getting dragon scissors for this weekend so I can make my dragons videos. I know some of you guys love my dragon videos and that's probably what Swadig plays is all about is the weekend and everything he does to prepare for dragons and making dragon teams. Um, as far as like new units to use for dragons, the only new unit that I am really going to focus on right now is possibly my dark victoria but i'm still like working on the fusion sets the fusion mats for her um when the exp rate and gold rate aren't down or are down then i go to the seabed caves and i'll farm up the best just because that's the side of the tree that i'm working on right now i have enough like water cocos to fuse enough like five or six so i just need the beth part of it and the beth part leads to the siren the wood siren part so once i get those six sirens i got like six victorias basically now it's like a really crucial time for me because i gotta like make sure that i have enough gold to do the things that i wanted to so i gotta make sure that i'm farming farming golems but at the same time i gotta make sure that i'm putting in enough time and effort to get at least the light gemini the light gemini in my opinion is actually really good and you'll see in my next video why as i go over them and make my review 
Now, I'm sorry if this daily video wasn't too much, guys. I didn't really do anything. Uh, I didn't run any golems, nothing, because they're pretty much the same as my previous daily videos. Uh, but this is just like a progression update uh, where I'm at and everything like that. I think we're almost due for a channel update soon, very, very soon. I haven't done one in a very long time because there are a lot of things that are going on in my real life that are uh, impacting me making videos, but I'm not going to let it impact me too much. I'm going to just keep making videos the best I can because I love making videos and fan art and stuff like that. Also, I want before I leave, I want to apologize if I'm talking a little weird or if it feels like I'm slobbering all over the mic. And that's just because I'm, I just got these braces and I, I'm developing a lot of sores in my mouth because like the brackets are rubbing against my gums and like not even the wax is working. Like the wax like falls off and then I have to put another one on and then like it falls off. So then I just get so freaking tilted from it. And then I just, yeah, I just, the sore just develops and then I'm drinking lots of water, but, um, I guess I gotta force more water down my throat to stay hydrated so that my um, epithelial cells on my cheek don't uh, get damaged too easily. And if they're constantly rehydrated, then there's enough recovery going on in there that sores won't develop, if you understand what I'm saying. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it off here. I'm gonna move on to the next video. I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out. I hope you have a nice day.